This video will be explaining what the software development lifecycle is and the different stages it has. The software development lifecycle has different models that organizations use for different reasons. The different models will be listed at the end of the video and separate videos will be made explaining each different model. So what is the software development lifecycle? The software development lifecycle is a framework used by developers for software development. The software development lifecycle aims to improve the quality of the software and improve the overall development by outlining the different phases required for developing software. The phases are planning and requirement analysis, defining requirements, designing the product architecture, developing the product, testing the product, and deployment and maintenance of the product. So the first phase, planning and requirement analysis, Requirement and analysis takes information from stakeholders to plan a basic project. Stakeholders is anybody with an interest in the product. The product scope and purpose should clearly be defined at this phase. Phase two, defining requirements. Defining the requirements is similar to phase one, but is now to define what the product is supposed to do. This would include a fully detailed plan of the product. This is usually referred to as the software requirement specification. Once the plan of the product is completed, this could get sent back to the stakeholders for approval. Phase three designing product architecture designing of the product designs are based off the software requirement specification in phase two there are usually more than one design for the product architecture the design aspect may include architecture i.e the programming language used user interface the way that the user interacts with the product. What platform will the product run on? Would it be Windows, Apple, Android, etc.? This will also include how the application will work. Does it need to interact with different aspects of a network, such as connecting to a central server? Prototypes of the product may also be developed for a basic idea of how the product will work. This could be shown to the stakeholders before development. Phase four, developing the product. Developers start to develop and code the product. Good documentation from design documents in phase three will help with the development process. Phase five, testing the product. Testing the product before deployment. Testing would include all functions work, different parts of the product work together, performance testing to make sure there is no hangs or lags in processing. This will reduce the amount of bugs when deployed. Also testing to make sure the product is secure and is not vulnerable to attackers. The testing will be documented and any flaws will be reported back to the developers. The product will not progress to the next stage until the major issues are addressed and the product is stable. Phase six, deployment and maintenance. Product is made available to the users could be as simple as installing then using the system or could be a little more complex such as upgrading the user database 
which could include data migration. Maintenance throughout the product lifecycle will continue. This would include patching bug issues that occur that were not found during testing. In this video, we have discussed the basic idea of what the software development lifecycle looks like. Here is a list of the most popular software development lifecycle models that developers follow. The waterfall model, agile model, spiral model, V-shaped model, iterative model, and the Big Bang model. Check out the playlist for the software development lifecycle on my channel for videos on the different models listed above.